Hi, Pinky. Do you want to try some stretching? Yeah. Okay. I well, can't talk right now. I've got to go like this. <sighs> okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Culture Drop. I am Galen. Today, we are doing some yoga. Not actually doing yoga, but I want to talk about innovation, mindsets, dealing with change, and just like possibility in our brain. So we're doing sort of like mind yoga. Also, when it comes to real yoga, I've done real yoga like a few times, so I'm basically an expert at it. All right, this entire video is centered around one core specific example of innovation, change, adaptability, flexibility, and like what is possible and the, the limiting beliefs uh, that prevent organizations from being able to adapt change, to be able to navigate like different situations uh, and innovate and be creative. Binky, this one is called Downward Cat. You just go like this. Don't just watch, do it. Come on, get in here. Before any of the COVID things happened, almost every company in the universe, if you ask them, is it possible for your employees to work from home, and uh, right, would say no. It's absolutely not possible under any circumstances. We could not do it. People wouldn't be productive. It'd be too many problems. And companies that like would die on the hill and just like till they're blue in the face claim there is no possible way that they could have a remote working workforce and have that be successful for their business. That's bullshit. Even though all these organizations were like, it's not possible, there's no way we could do that. They pretty much pulled it off almost immediately and like relatively flawlessly. Are you focusing on your breathing, Pinky? Don't judge yourself for what your body can't do. Do a nice little stretch, stretch out those paws, okay? This is just such a glaring example of what companies and like mindsets generally would fight against this thing and say it's not possible at all. And like all of a sudden, they all pulled it off. Like most organizations have had remote work teams and they've pulled it off just fine. Things are still getting done, uh, right? It's like there's challenges involved with that, but because they were forced to, because they had to, they just immediately figured it out. The limiting beliefs of what is possible for us um, crush innovation and creativity. A lot of times we as organizations or like leadership teams or whatever equate, we are not doing this thing right now and I don't see this thing when I look around to like, it's not possible to do that thing. You know, our limiting beliefs that we have allow us to take any barrier that exists and be like, that's why we can't do this thing. And sort of like rest on that hill and be like, well, we can't because of this. Necessity is the mother of invention. As soon as we're forced to do something, we magically find creative ways around all the barriers uh, that like we would have said made something not possible. Adopt that mindset as an organization. It's like what you envision as being possible. If you put your creative energy into like, if we had to do this, what would that look like? And I think that's, a nice filter if we're talking about change or innovation or something we wanna try. It's like, if we were absolutely forced to do this thing and we had no other choice, how would we go about it? Because as soon as that becomes the sort of filter that we see things as, we put a deeper, uh, a more intentional sort of creative filter to that to be like, well, if we had to, we could try this, we could do this, we could do this. Ah, that feels very uncomfortable. This is called the honeybee dive. Okay, this is weird. This is called the tree snake. You just wrap around, feel those glutes. I don't yoga very much, okay? Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.